In today's video, we're taking a look at three different methods that you can use to make water repellent graffiti on your sidewalk or driveway. Guys, we have a bunch of DIY kits up for sale in our shop. These kits come with everything you need to build some of our favorite projects, like the laser assisted blowgun. The laser assisted blowgun is powerful enough to stick in concrete and break glass from over 100 feet away. So if you want one of your own, go ahead and check it out using the link in the description. Guys, you've probably seen some experiments with Never Wet before. This stuff famously repels water amazingly. There are a few different things you can do with it, of course. One of the demonstrations I've seen is spraying it directly onto concrete, driveway, sidewalk, something like that, and it repels the water. And you can what actually- What is the purpose for that? You can make cool designs and patterns okay. if you apply it just the right way. Here's the basic idea. We're going to try out three different types of water repellent to see which one works the best for making patterns and designs on a sidewalk or driveway. We want to try the actual Never Wet, and then we want to try a couple different varieties that are maybe a little easier to get your hands on and a little bit more kid-friendly if you wanted to try making these patterns and designs on the ground by yourself. I like it. What do we need? Well, we're going to take our Never Wet. Okay. We're going to make some patterns and stencils of some kinds. Okay. And then we're going to try out the other two things that I've got to try repelling water, and we're going to see how well they work and how easy they are to use. Cool. So we're starting with stencils. Let's make a couple of stencils, patterns that we want to put on the ground. Permanently? Hopefully not permanently. So the stuff we're using right now is called contact paper. It's not really a paper, it's a plastic film. It's mostly transparent, not 100% clear, but you can see through it pretty well, especially if it's pressed up against something. And it's very sticky on one side. So the idea is that what we're going to do is we'll cut out our stencil, we'll peel away the plastic, We'll stick that down onto the concrete and we'll paint over that. So right now, anything that we remove from our stencil making our pattern, that's going to end up lighter because the idea is that the water repellent will stop the water from getting into the concrete and turning it dark like it does when it rains or sprinklers hit it or anything like that. So we've got a bunch of stencils out here, we've got some nice dry pavement, yep. and we've got our Never Wet. The other two things that we're going to try using are Rain-X. Now Rain-X makes a bunch of different products. This is one that I've found works really well for this. And the other one we're going to be using, even easier to get your hands on, what? it's milk. This is just a half gallon of milk, and we're going to be trying this out as well. You're pouring milk on the concrete? I'm carefully applying milk to the concrete with a brush. Let's uh, peel up the contact paper and press it down to the concrete directly and see if it sticks well. I don't know how well it's going to stick. I haven't tested this part of it yet. We are going to find out. Yes, we are. Well, it sticks none, I'm going to say. However... It sticks a little. Yeah. It sticks Not well. enough for me to feel comfortable saying that I want to use the Never Wet, and I think it's going to go real well. I'll wait for that to dry for 30 seconds. While you're applying that one, I am going to use the Rain-X. Uh, I'm going to spray a coat on, let it go till it looks like it's completely dried, and then I'll try adding a second coat on top of that. Nice. Sort of a preview of how it's going to look in the end. While my first layer is drying a bit, I'm going to test out the milk. Who is the person who's like, hey, I'm gonna put milk on concrete? Me. It's a rose! It's so pretty! It's a tiny little travel spray bottle. I'm gonna finish up my last coat on my tripod. We don't have any rain due anytime soon, so I think we're gonna use a different method. We've got a few water balloons, and we're going to try throwing those and see if we can get that to reveal our prints at, at, the, at the ground where we printed stuff. Lay on the ground. Well, I want to start with my extra life. 
So I'm gonna try and get this to break right on there and see how it pops up. Woo! Yeah! That was awesome! Okay, so we did get a little bit of bleeding around the edges with the, the contact paper. It wasn't perfect. Um, and so this is actually something that's pretty interesting. You can see right now, it's you can see the print, but it does kind of look like it might be fading away. Weirdly enough, I had this work better on like the second time it got wet. So it got wet and then dried out, and then the next time I got it wet, it seemed to work better. Maybe that was just that more time had passed? Maybe. So let's try some other ones. <laughs> A little more force, maybe. Yeah. Boom, look at that, that is beautiful. Nice. Perfectly clean. And I just wanna show something else. Like this one, uh, we'll see if this, if this works how I remember, if it dries out and we'll get it wet again and see how it shows up. But the parts that aren't showing up as like dark, they're actually still getting water on them. The never wet, of course, is fun because the water actually refuses to stay. Look it's at this. It's like beads. Even if we pour it on top, it just runs right off. Let's try our milk. There it is. <gasps> you made a rose. Although you can see how quickly that it sort of dissipated. dissipated. That was just painted on with a brush, although this one is now showing up. Yeah, look at that, TKR. Let's, uh, here we go. Nice. There's our, our logo right there. That's pretty good. It's quite visible, I'd say. You've got a whole umbrella in milk. Let's see, an umbrella out of milk, and I sprayed this with my hairspray bottle. Oh, there nice. you go. Nice. That's not bad. I'm going to go for the one right next to it. Hang on, no one there. I mean, I would deserve it, but no. Aha. Cool. <laughs> What's that one out of? That's the Rain-X again, although right. there was some milk left on the stencil. Yes. So it's like Rain-X with some milk spots on well, it. You see the difference. Look how fast the milk faded away. That's actually a really cool thing to do. If you know you've got a rainstorm coming up and you want to just go kind of paint outside, it's the same with sidewalk chalk. It's going to rinse away. Oh, you get a really cool design for a few minutes. That's awesome. Never wet, clearly. Don't put this on your is concrete. Is the winner. However, don't put that on your concrete. I have a tri very, forever. It was very visible, even without water. Not, not very visible, but if you were looking for it oh, at all, you there. would find it immediately. That looks so cool, though. Don't, don't do this at home, guys. Don't, don't do this. It's fine. Skin is already water repellent. Why would you ruin my fun? Just pointing that out. Hey, where's the hose? Good news! I'm water repellent. It's gonna make showering real difficult. All right, a couple more things we wanna try. We've got some rubber stamps with letters. We've got some stencils, and I wanna see if it's possible to use these things to make more patterns. Let's see, I'll start with my name, see how that works out. Just use this same paper towel. Let's see what we can get in terms of our uh, Celtic knot designs here. One final test, I'm just gonna spray it. Ooh, that actually works pretty well, it looks like. We'll see how it goes once it's dried. We had a few blurry lines from the stencils that we made ourselves using the contact paper. That stuff is nice because it's big wide rolls. You can make fairly large patterns, but I do also want to try in contrast with this. This is a kind of painter's tape that's supposed to do a really good job of blocking any leaking. It's called frog tape. So I do just want to try a little bit of this and see if it's going to work better as a mask than just the contact paper. I'm looking at it and I think I see the liquid leaking under this actually quite a bit more than the contact paper did. Seeing how much liquid looks like it's fitting under the edges, I don't have a lot of high hopes for this tape working better than our contact paper. Okay, so I've actually been inside filming a different video for the last hour or so. So I know there are new designs all over the concrete. I don't know what they are, so I'm very excited to see. Ooh. <gasps> what? The spray with the Celtic knots were oh great. Oh my gosh! I love them, where did, what? Okay, so you must have found these. Yes. No, that's just a pre-made stencil. 
Is this, okay, this one I'm guessing is, I'm gonna guess, these two are never wet. They are all the Rain-X. These are all Rain-X? This is when I tried to apply the Rain-X with a wet paper towel over okay, it. Okay, like a stand. And that is where I just sprayed it on. For some reason this, this one's working a lot remember. better than your underwater guys. Uh, See that? It's almost like it's soaking in. Yeah, I think this got a slightly better coating of it. Using the frog tape did not really seem to get as much result. It did bleed a fair amount underneath, so our design lost a lot of detail. Yeah. Using the stamps, we got a little bit of result on the ones where I really soaked them, but it's very minor, so stamps, I wouldn't say worked too well. The stencils actually did work all right, and I would actually say that the best would probably be to take the liquid out of here and put it into a smaller spray bottle. This puts out a lot of volume, not terribly evenly all at once. Um, but we are getting a little bit of what I talked about before in that we seem to get a better result. Like let it dry, it got wet once, and then it dried again and it seems to just improve how well it repels water yeah. over time. Because he, he was almost gone when yeah. we first did that. So I don't know what exactly makes the difference, but it seems to just keep working maybe better and better Seriously. with the Rain-X. Less so with the milk. The milk, I would say, seems to degrade over time. As it should, I would assume. It's but milk. Honestly, look at this. Guys, I kind of want to do this to my own driveway. Like, I think it would be so cool to have the big, big stamps and do this. Well, not even stamps, but giant stencils. Do this and it rains and all of a sudden you have beautiful art in your driveway. That's so cool. I love that. Good choice. If you come up with something else interesting to do with this, if you've got some other ideas you'd like to see us do, let us know in the comments below. Guys, this is super fun and we've got fantastic weather right now. We can be out, we can be, you know, playing with the hose, so why not? Guys, that's not all you know. We've always got more for you to see. Click the box up at the top to check out our most recent video and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.